Good evening, everyone. Good evening, and welcome to yet another super cool, super awesome, and absolutely amazing session on body fluids and circulation, lecture number five, discussing mainly about the disorders of circulatory system. Okay. So let's wait for two minutes to get ready for the session. Yes, yes, everyone. I hope you could hear me, see the screen properly. Am I? Am I audible to everyone? Am I? Am I audible to everyone? Yes. Okay, thank you so much. So don't forget to hit the like button right now. Okay, Shivani, Shraddha and Raman. Moving on with the lecture, continuing with this. This was a topic which we stopped in the last class. Yes. So now, today we are beginning with hepatic portal system. Hepatic portal system. Okay. Hepatic portal system. Okay. Calvin, good evening. So it is a system which includes a hepatic portal vein. It includes a hepatic portal vein that carry blood from the intestine to the liver. Hepatic. What is hepatic? Related something which is related with the liver is hepatic. Okay. Yes, Nila. Good evening. Yes, am I audible to everyone? Now, am I audible? Guys, please come in me whether I am audible or not. Yes. Thank you so much. So, hepatic means liver and portal means which is related with the digestive system. And here it refers to the portion of intestine. Okay, it refers to the portion of intestine. So, hepatic portal system, it is a system that includes a hepatic portal vein that carries blood from the intestine to the liver before it is delivered to systemic circulation. What is systemic circulation? We have studied the blood from the heart, the oxygenated blood from the heart is pumped on to the body parts through iota, pumped to all body parts through iota. Guys, I want to ask you something. I want to ask you something. Yes, 20, 21 students. Have you seen... Uh, we have certain portions. We have certain portion from which we expect plus four marks. That is from where we expect one sure MCQ from that topic. So we expect a sure shot one MCQ from that portion. For example, biotechnology from the cotton. Biotechnology from the portion of cotton. We expect, we should expect a sure plus four marks. So... Tomorrow, most probably tomorrow, most probably tomorrow or day after tomorrow, Amal sir will be continuing you with the plus four guaranteed marks of biology. Certain topic and the very first topic is viruses. So definitely 2020 students might know easily what viruses how important is the topic of viruses 
because NEE 2020 also carries certain direct MCQ from virus viroids. Yes. So the thing is, guys, are you all hearing? Give me hearts on the screen. Give me hearts on the screen if you are hearing me. Give me hearts on the screen if you are hearing me. So we'll be discussing in that plus four session about viruses, viroids, prions, and lichen. Okay. So that will be most probably a 20 minute or 25 minute session. 20 minutes or approximately maximum 25 minutes, not more than that. So my question is, do you want that session to be a live or a recorded? Do you want that session to be live or recorded? Tell me. Will you have time to attend the live or if we record it and post it, will you go it? Okay, everyone is commenting me live. Okay, just 20 minutes plus four marks guaranteed MCQ. Yes, everyone live. Okay, we'll just create a poll in the group and let me check about the opinion of others also. So this is the hepatic portal system. Next, what is the importance of coronary artery, guys? Tell me. Who tells me this? Let me check. What is the importance of coronary artery? I just explained it to you. What is coronary artery? What is coronary artery? Anyone can tell me the answer for the question. Coronary artery. First, we have to complete this chapter today. Definitely plus 12 marks from this chapter. Three or maximum four questions. 12 to 16 marks guaranteed from the blood circulation, body fluids and circulation. Tell me guys, what do you mean by coronary artery? No one knows the answer for coronary artery. Guys, I told you coronary artery is the artery that carry or that supply oxygenated blood. That supplies oxygenated blood to the heart. Am I right? Yes, it supplies oxygenated blood to the heart. It supplies oxygenated blood to the heart is the coronary artery. One second. So what is the function of coronary vein? The function of coronary vein is it helps in the removal or it takes back the deoxygenated blood which is used up by the heart. So the heart also requires the veins and the artery to get the blood and uh, to send out the blood, right? So the heart also requires the veins and the artery to get the blood. Okay, so it is a system. So coronary circulatory system, it is a coronary system. It is a system of coronary vessels that is coronary artery and coronary vein that circulate blood to and from the cardiac musculature. So that supply, coronary artery supplies blood to heart muscle. Coronary vein take away blood from the heart muscle. Okay. So that is all about the coronary system. So first we studied about... Uh, Okay. One second. Guys, am I audible to everyone? Am I audible? Give me thumbs up on the screen if I am audible. Yes, I hope it's fine. So moving on to the next topic. Regulation of cardiac activity. Next, going to discuss about regulation of cardiac activity. So don't look about this yeah let's let's tell about it myogenic heart what do you mean by myogenic heart what do you mean by myogenic heart myogenic heart means the initiation of the heartbeat 
starts in the human heart itself we have neurogenic heart also we have neurogenic heart also what do you mean by neurogenic heart the initiation of heartbeat and all starts from certain nerves but the initiation of heartbeat in human starts in heart our own heart so it is myogenic heart so the cardiac activity the cardiac activity is regulated by the structure called medulla oblongata in 10th standard in 10th grade in 10th standard you might have studied medulla oblongata is concerned with the controlling of involuntary actions such as respiration peristalsis heartbeat yes so medulla oblongata is a structure present inside our body that regulates the heartbeat through ans can any one of you tell me i'll wait for 2 minutes i'll continue with the class you can come and me after 2 minutes i'll tell the answer for the question can any one of you tell me what is the full form of ans ans i don't know how many of you have studied this in your lower grades ans it is a type of a nervous system what does a stands for that's it yes so sympathetic nerves of auto oh my god i just told the answer can any one of you tell me a n s which type of nervous system absolutely autonomous nervous system so autonomous nervous system consists of sympathetic nervous system and parasympathetic nervous system i am not dealing detail about it okay sympathetic nervous system and the parasympathetic nervous system i am not going into detail for all these things because our next chapter is all about nervous system neural control and coordination so sympathetic nervous system of the autonomic nervous system it increases the heart rate so which type of nerves increases the heart rate it is a sympathetic nervous system and guys you know what is the main function of sympathetic nervous system the sympathetic nervous system is mainly concerned with the production of adrenaline the sympathetic nervous system is the sympathetic nervous system is concerned with the production of adrenaline it's not autonomic it's not autonomic it's autonomic nervous system okay guys what's there to dislike i think the other fellow is there in the class okay so sympathetic nervous system the adrenaline sympathetic nervous system produces adrenaline and as a result of the production of adrenaline adrenaline is a emergency hormone okay adrenaline is the emergency hormone adrenaline is the emergency hormone so sympathetic nervous system as a result of adrenaline secretion it increases the rate of heartbeat then the strength of ventricular contraction and the cardiac output okay it increases the strength of heartbeat it increases the rate of heartbeat and thereby increases the cardiac output and the parasympathetic nervous system is absolutely opposite to that of sympathetic nervous system okay so parasympathetic nervous system decreases the heartbeat decreases the heartbeat conduction of action potential and the cardiac output sympathetic nervous system increases the heartbeat so guys my question is whether sympathetic nervous system or parasympathetic nervous system is activated when we are there on a stage to speak out something for the first time holding a mic in our hand definitely we will get tense right so which uh, type of autonomic nervous system will get activated at that particular time is it sympathetic nervous system or parasympathetic nervous system absolutely it is sympathetic nervous system and it causes the urge secretion of the hormone called adrenaline which is the emergency hormone and the adrenal medullary hormone increases the cardiac activity it increases the cardiac activity adrenaline and all increases the cardiac activity absolutely it is sympathetic okay next is the lymphatic vessel this is not a prior important topic as per your textbook okay we don't have a uh, too much things about this in your ncrt so lymphatic system it includes lymph lymph vessels lymph nodes or the lymph glands 
as the blood passes through the capillaries in the tissue some water and soluble substances so as the blood passes through the capillary capillaries are the minute blood vessel capillaries are the minute blood vessel yes capillaries are the minute blood vessel so some water and soluble substances are filtered out from the plasma to the intercellular spaces to form the tissue fluid or interstitial fluid okay so it has the same contribution or distribution of minerals as that is in the blood plasma so some tissue fluid enters the lymphatic system and the tissue fluid which enters the lymphatic system you will call it definitely as the lymph it drains back to the major vein so what is the characteristic or what is the difference between blood and lymph blood is a red colored liquid where lymph is a colorless liquid colorless fluid containing only lymphocyte so lymph does not contain red blood cells lymph does not contain lymph does not contain red blood cells okay can we move on with the next slide have you understood the concept of lymphatic system lymphatic system you have to study you have to keep in mind okay you have to just keep in mind no need of uh, by hearting all these things just keep in mind about what are the structures included lymph lymph vessels and lymph node the only one mcq that was asked the only one mcq that was asked from this slide was lymph is a colorless fluid containing only lymphocytes no rbc is present yes nila thank you so much shivani shraddha and calvin thank you so much where is raman actually i was proud of you all who have taken your second mock test guys most probably day after tomorrow will be your third mock test mock test number 3 day after tomorrow yes okay i'll inform it in the group not day after tomorrow no day after tomorrow because for the next 3 days we'll be having the classes at night okay this will be a regular schedule for the next 2 days tomorrow and day after tomorrow also i'll inform you the date i'll inform you the date also okay okay thank you so much anyway we are not going to give it up we will definitely do that moving on with the next one this is the structure for the lymphatic system not so important okay not so important next one what are the main functions of lymph this is an important slide main functions of lymph this is very important okay who is this damaged joker who is this damaged joker okay anyway it is a middle man between the blood and the tissue it is a middle man between the blood and the tissue tissue fluid helps to exchange the nutrients gases etc between the blood and the cells okay fine so it is a middle or it is a connecting link between the blood and the tissues which helps in the transportation of the which helps in the transportation of the nutrients gases etc between the blood and the cells first function second one it carries plasma protein synthesis in the liver to the blood so function of another function of lymph is it carries the plasma proteins which are synthesized guys listen in the class guys listen in the class instead one of you is just playing with the like and dislike button over here okay one person in the class is just abnormally playing with the like and dislike button one minute like second uh, minute when i have a glance at it it will be a dislike after one minute after i tell this they will move back into the like then after some time again dislike then they will retract the like both dislike also what is this listen in the class not bother about all the things just leave it okay so transports digested fats through lacteals we already studied in the digestive system the small blood capillary inside the villi the small capillary along the villi intestinal villi you call it as the lacteal very important at least 20 times repeated mcq for your neat exam 
so the uh, type of capillary which is present inside the lymph intestinal villi it is the lacteal then lymph also helps in the filtration of bacteria and foreign particle and it contains only lymphocytes and thereby antibody production only takes place inside it so these are the main function of lymphatic system can we move with the last topic of this chapter can we move with the last topic of the chapter can we move with the last topic of this chapter disorders of the digestive system before that give me hearts on the screen everyone give me hearts on the screen everyone everybody give me hearts on the screen right now yes thank you so much moving with the next topic that is the disorders of the digestive system first disorder associated with the digestive system it is a hypertension or high blood pressure we would simply be telling bp we would simply be telling bp okay hypertension or high blood pressure simply we will be telling bp what is it the pressure of circulating blood on the walls of the blood vessel the pressure that is exerted by the blood on the walls of the blood vessel you will call it as a blood pressure definition very very important what is blood pressure it is a pressure exerted by the circulating blood on the walls of the heart so pressure exerted by the blood on the heart that is a blood on the wall you will call it as a blood pressure you know that the normal bp is 120 bar 80 mm hg 180 bar 120 bar 80 mm of hg it includes a systolic pressure 120 mm of hg and the diastolic pressure of 80 mm of hg very important guys very important really really important one okay so the pressure of the circulating blood on the walls of the heart you will call it as a blood pressure and the normal blood pressure is 120 bar 80 mm of hg millimeter cube of mercury so 120 indicates this is a familiar question this is a very repeated question what does the normal blood pressure is 120 bar 80 120 bar 80 mm of hg is the normal blood pressure of a human being in this what does 120 and 80 respectively signifies so 120 signifies the systolic pressure and 80 signifies the diastolic pressure very important slide very important guys study the disorders part we will definitely i told you right we'll be taking or starting with what the another session plus four guaranteed marks mcqs so in that i'll definitely be taking out the disorders of each system separately fine yes moving on when the blood pressure is higher than the normal blood pressure what is the normal blood pressure it is 120 bar 80 120 systolic pressure and 80 diastolic pressure so 120 bar 80 is the normal blood pressure so when the norm when the blood pressure of a person is more than the normal bp it is called the hypertension it is called the hypertension if an individual repeatedly has the bp of 140 or above it shows hypertension look 140 or above it 140 or above continuously for many repeating times then you will call it as a hypertension it finally leads to the heart disease and affects the vital organs and ultimately it leads to the condition called stroke i hope you are familiar with the condition known as stroke and you know what is what is stroke guys a normal blood pressure highly risk condition highly risk and anybody sitting in the class wish to be a cardiologist anybody sitting in the class wish to be a cardiologist and after that after the class i want to tell you something about an incident that happened here okay highly risky thing okay highly risky uh, branch of medicine cardio you have to study each and every minute things 
each and every minute things that is what and the persons will be under high risky condition so you have to be very very careful while handling a patient with a heart problem yes because the persons whatever disorders let it be another kidney something related problem or whatever but the thing that is related to the heart very important care is required because that particular person cannot take all the time all the type of medicine he cannot take or he or that person could not take there is certain medicines only which he could be used because he is having a problem with the heart right so very important keep it in mind okay very good job it's a very good job and high salary job but if we just save a life the most precious god gifted job it is yes fine moving on after the class i wanted to tell you something about the medical field an incident happened in the medical field yesterday in my state in my city yes next one very uh, yes this we studied yes what are the foods to avoid during high blood pressure salt fishes meat oil alcohol natural food is milk lettuce then uh, dried seeds fruits vegetables paneer and all these things so all these things are the natural foods most of us use these things are right salt then uh, fish red meat oil and uh, what non evitable substance from the food which one calvin which one which one no 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 they won't be asked since it was in the diagram i just explain no need for this these all three points i have discussed earlier okay next is the coronary artery disease or arteriosclerosis coronary artery disease okay here what happens in this particular symptom uh, or disease what happens the calcium fat and mainly cholesterol mainly cholesterols deposited in the coronary artery i already told you right i already told you that the coronary artery is the thing that supply blood vessel that supply oxygenated blood to heart if coronary artery fails what happen no oxygenated blood reaches the heart so this coronary artery we would be saying that condition known as block in common language common people's language we tell it as block but future doctors should say it as a coronary artery disease or atherosclerosis very important the patients will be coming to you definitely by telling that my uh, the patient is having a block in the heart but actually the disease is coronary artery disease cat or atherosclerosis is it so there are different biological term which you will be coming across okay it makes the lumen of the artery narrower already the lumen of the artery is narrow right so this cholesterol calcium and fat all these things get deposited in the artery and thereby it reduces the blood supply of the heart it leads to the coronary artery disease next one is angina or angina pectoris angina or angina pectoris what is it it is the acute chest pain it is the acute chest pain coronary artery disease guys are you all understanding give me thumbs up on the screen right now give me thumbs up on the screen right now fast after that we'll continue we have only two or three more slides left out yes yes thank you so much yes so guys coronary artery first of all we studied about sorry first of all we studied about hypertension okay when the uh, fluctuation happens in the normal blood pressure 120 bar 80 raises to 140 bar 90 next one damaged a damaged docker are you are you not understanding the topic is it are you not understanding the topic yes yes okay guys so 
second one was the coronary uh, atherosclerosis or coronary artery disease it, due to the deposition of cholesterol fats and calcium etc in the coronary artery thereby blocking the supply of oxygenated blood towards the heart third one is the angina or angina pectoris it is due to the acute chest pain it is the acute chest to pain due to oxygen deficiency to the heart muscle it occurs due to improper blood flow it occurs due to improper blood flow it is commonly occurring uh, what among the middle aged persons and the elderly people this is a symptom for a cardiac arrest this is a symptom for a cardiac arrest middle aged persons and elderly people especially we would say the acute chest pain fourth one is complete heart failure acute chest pain you might have seen this diagram this is how the persons they will be holding out the chest that is uh, unbearable chest pain unbearable chest pain okay unbearable chest pain okay damage joko symptom of angina pectoris and how is it internally caused what is the reason for its cause what is its cause it is caused by the improper flow of blood into the heart improper flow of blood or deficiency of oxygen in the heart muscles leads to angina and the symptom that we can observe is the acute chest pain okay we would be feeling that the heart is not beating like this acute chest pain will be there next one heart failure next is the heart failure or the congestive heart failure yes it's also seen in coronary artery disease also but we cannot have this acute syndrome we will not have the acute syndrome look we will not have the acute syndrome in the coronary artery disease okay okay damage joker we will not be experiencing an acute syndrome of a chest pain in case of uh, what atherosclerosis but in case of angina pect angina pectoris you know what it is just the term which is given to the acute chest pain okay it is actually the term which is given to the acute chest pain whenever you will be uh, i am having the chest pain then the doctors would be prescribing angina it's actually not a disease it's actually a symptom but when the question comes to your neat examination definitely you will have all these things okay next is a heart failure heart failure let me check once again okay heart failure means it is the inability of the heart to pump the blood it is the inability of the heart to pump the blood heart will not pump any blood the blood will comes to the heart remains over there some blood will never reaches the heart because the heart will not be pumping any more blood it is called the heart failure the heart denies its function of pumping the blood and what is the main symptom congestion of the lungs we will be feeling a uh, what an inner discussion between a uh, what it's not discussion it is what a congestion between the lungs we have a disgusting experience inside the body between the two lungs the heart will not be supplying blood to the body organ so that is a main symptom of heart failure next one is the cardiac arrest simply what is cardiac arrest the heart stops beating the heart stops beating it's similar to heart failure similar to heart failure cardiac arrest heart attack and uh, heart failure cardiac arrest all these things yes guys can you all hear me or you all you all are not commenting i'm not receiving any comments guys can you all hear me last comment i could see is from the damaged joker but chest pain is also seen in coronary artery after that are you uh, seeing any comments once again wait 
let me just close it out and once again just take it off just two minutes wait yes yes okay guys okay i'm audible have any one of you asked anything guys any doubt till here any doubt till here Yes, damage Joker. If you have any doubt, please ask me. What's the comment that you given me? Yes, please write down your answer because it will be difficult for me to just scroll up. Yes, that's the function of that venous. What it carries the blood from the feet to the lug, feet to the legs. Okay, feet for was transfer of. Blood from the feet to the leg. That's all. The name of that vein and all is not included. Okay. Okay. Next is the cardiac arrest. Here the heart stops beating. So cardiac arrest is an electrical problem and heart attack is a pumping problem. I think Calvin asked me a doubt right like this, right? So cardiac arrest. You, what's the difference between cardiac? Uh oh. What's the difference between cardiac arrest and a heart attack? Cardiac arrest is an electrical problem due to the non-generation of electrical impulses. But heart attack is due to the pumping problem of the heart. Due to the pumping problem of the heart because of blocks in the artery, vein or whatever. Next is a heart attack. It's a sudden damage of the heart muscle due to inadequate blood supply. So guys, what all are due to the inadequate blood supply which all symptoms we have observed due to the inadequate blood supply first one is the coronary artery disease or atherosclerosis insufficient supply of blood second one ankyna pectoris is actually a symptom of acute chest pain due to improper blood flow third one heart failure also due to the uh, non supply of oxygenated blood towards the heart muscle Next one, cardiac arrest also, it's heart stops beating. Why? Because heart's not receiving any type of blood. Fifth one, heart attack, sudden damage of the heart muscle due to inadequate blood supply. Successfully completed the chapter, body fluids and circulation in today's class. Yes. Yes. I hope you all have understood the topics of this chapter. Give me hearts on the screen before we end this session. Tomorrow we'll be beginning with a new chapter of class 11th biology. Yes. Guys, do you want me to continue with the human physiology or uh, do you want me to change the track and move back to uh, any other units? Which one? Which one? Should we first complete um, the human physiology or we should jump back into some other units and come back to human physiology? Okay, human physiology itself will continue. So tomorrow we'll be beginning with a new chapter. So don't miss the class. I'm not sure whether we would get the class for uh, nine o'clock or not because there would be some network connection issues i'm not sure i'll try it okay just wait till nine o'clock i'll inform if there is no class i'll inform you in our telegram group so 12th standard student need 2021 students just don't forget to join for the class on biodiversity and conservation sharp at nine o'clock today okay okay fine Guys, study all these, practice MCQs of these topics today itself. Don't forget to join. Stay tuned till 9 o'clock. 
practice have your dinner and uh, come back with full energy in the class sharp at 9 pm see you guys today itself 9 pm we'll be coming out with the biodiversity and conservation for 2021 bye bye take care